Howdy, I'm Matt, Chief of the Flutter Bounty Hunters, and today I'd like to give you an introduction to a package called Cutting Room. Cutting Room is a brand new package that we've released at the Flutter Bounty Hunters. It's built on top of FFmpeg CLI, another package that we've released, but Cutting Room takes it to the next level. Cutting Room is a package that helps you compose, or you can think of it as edit videos and produce them using FFmpeg, but with compositions that make a lot more sense to you as a human being. And I'm going to show you a couple simple examples here today to drive the point home. Let's go into the example project that's included in the repository. There are a few video clips in that example app or the example project that show you how you can use Cutting Room. And let's play a couple of those right now. Uh, one's of a bee, one's of a butterfly. Here's the bee. Four seconds of the bee moving around, flying off. And then the butterfly, we have about eight seconds of a butterfly flapping its wings, and then eventually it flies off. Now let's imagine that those two clips, you want to put them together, back to back. Let's see how we can do that with Cutting Room. Coming into an example Dart application, and this is Dart, this isn't Flutter, this is a Dart package, you write regular Dart code. This main method here, it has a bit of boilerplate, but this is all stuff that you would do even with FFmpeg CLI. We're going to somehow generate an FFmpeg command. Then we are going to run that command in a process. And then we're going to map input and output to our console so that we can answer questions if they come up along the way. None of that is really related to composing the video, and what we're interested in with Cutting Room is composing. And that's what this to-do is for right here. We want to replace this to-do with whatever Cutting Room provides us to render a video with those two clips back to back. What Cutting Room gives us are things called compositions. You put compositions within compositions. Let's start by just getting referencing one of those video clips. We'll use a full video composition where we need to provide a path. In our case, the path to the asset is assets slash, we'll say, b.mp4. There's one of our videos. The other video is butterfly209.mp4. That references the entirety of both video clips, and then we'd like for one of those to be played followed by the other. So what we're going to do in that case is we're going to cut these compositions, and we're going to use what's called a series composition, as in a series of things back to back to back. And those things that are going to be in series are going to be those full video compositions. And you might start to notice that this looks and feels an awful lot like a widget tree. Now, there is no connection here to Flutter or widgets at all, but widgets are just an example of compositional declarative programming. And here again, we have compositional declarative programming. In fact, what we're working with are literally called compositions. So it should be no surprise that you can compose them together. Now, with these three lines, this is all it takes to accomplish the goal. So I'll draw your attention to this output directory right here. I'm go this test renderer is from earlier. I'm going to delete that, and we're going to notice that we have an empty output directory. And then up here in my IDE, I have this example selected to run. So when I press the play button, our main method here is going to run, and then we should see something appear in output with those two video clips back to back. Let's see what happens. I'll press play. Here we are executing. Okay, okay, we're waiting, we're waiting. And now here's our test render. Let's see what we've rendered. Here it is, it appeared on the other screen. It should be the bee followed by the butterfly. Yep, there's the bee and there's the butterfly. That's our series composition composed of two full video compositions back to back. But okay, that's, that's pretty simple. The standard FFmpeg command to put two things together is no big deal. So let's look at something that's a little more interesting, but it turns out a lot more complicated to do with FFmpeg uh, at the command line. 
Let me show you two more very short video clips. One is an intro, the other is an outro. Here's an intro video. It just shows this image, but then watch for the circle reveal. See that circle reveal? This black is actually transparent. We can see through it when we actually compose this video. So we have an intro with a circle reveal to the content. Now here's an outro with another circle reveal. Circle reveal to the outro. We would like to use this intro and outro with our content. The interesting thing is that we can't just put them back to back because if we put them back to back, then this circle isn't going to show the content behind it. So there has to be a little overlap between the content video and the intro and the outro. This is something that Cutting Room makes very easy and far less complicated than FFmpeg at the command line. Let's take our existing composition for the content, our series composition, and we're going to open up this other file with another to-do. Now the code that's in this file at right now is essentially identical. It just creates the command and runs it. But we want to create a different composition right here under this to-do that actually gives us the intro and the outro. To accomplish this, we're going to use something called a layered composition. You can almost think of it like a stack from Flutter where there are, there's visual content on top of visual content. Those are layers in a layered composition. So let's say layered composition, which has some layers. Then we will define a layer, which has layer spans, because a layer in theory takes up all the time available in the video, but you might just have spans of content in that layer. We just, for our content, we just want one layer span. Now th this is our content again. I can come up and comment that. I'll say this is our content layer and we just copied the content. So now I'll paste it. Here's our content again. These, this is our butterfly and our bee. And it looks like maybe I have something off with the commas here. Maybe I'm just missing the start time. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. So we have our, our content here. We play the bee and then the butterfly on this layer. Now, when do we want this layer to begin? When do we want the B video to start? Well, we don't want to start it immediately because we want our intro to take a little bit of time. So we're going to start, and this time was just found experimentally, but we're going to start a little less than two seconds in. We're going to start 1750 milliseconds into the video. That's when our content is going to begin and then it's going to play to completion. But now we want the layer on top the layer with the intro and the outro. This is our intro and outro layer. So we will create a layer and that layer will have spans. We will create this time. We want two layer spans, one for the intro, one for the outro. Here's the intro. Here's the outro. Now for the intro, we want to begin immediately. The intro is the very first thing to play. And what is the, where is the intro? We'll again use a full video composition and it's in assets example intro dot move. Our outro, very similar location. It's example outro dot move. Now the one interesting thing here is wh where should the outro begin? The outro needs to begin at the end of the video minus a little bit. And rather than work all that out here, I'm going to bring back an, a value that I already had working. Let me cut this and I'll come paste it up here under start. You don't need to understand the times. These are all uh, millisecond times that we're adding and subtracting. You don't need to understand them. They're based on the times of these other videos. But the point is this outro span, it's going to start way towards the end of the video because we want it to be the last thing that plays. So very quickly, let's go over this composition again. We have a layered composition, one layer, and actually now I'm thinking this layer actually probably belongs, in terms of ordering, it belongs on the other side. 
we'll see if we'll see if I get that right when we actually render this. But I think first we want our content layer. Our content layer is exactly the same as it was before. It's the bee and the butterfly, and it begins a little less than two seconds into the video. Then on top of that, we have our intro span, which begins immediately and plays the intro. And then way later, towards the end of the video, is another layer span that, be again, begins very late, and it shows the outro. Let's try rendering that. Again, in output, all we have is test render. There's going to be another render that comes out. I'm going to come up here to select example layers. And when I render this, we're going to see if I got the order of these layers correct. I might need to reverse them back. Let's find out. We'll press play. And then down here, we're going to execute it. Okay. Still going. All right, now you'll see test render layer. Let's open this up. Let me drag it from the other screen. Okay, so the fact that we're seeing the intro, well, we still don't know if the layers are in the right order, but notice that we're starting with the intro. I'm going to play this and let's see what happens. Yep, see the, the intro shrunk on top of the content. We're playing the content through. Now wait for the outro. And there's the outro on top of the content. Now, if you try to do that at the FFmpeg command line, you're going to have a bad time. But we make it very easy with Cutting Room. Again, this is the Cutting Room package. It's on PubDev. We've made the, the very first release of this. If you, your team, your company, if you find this valuable, if you'd like for us to create more compositions or somehow make it more production ready for you, we'd love to get you into a funding milestone. But that's what I've got for you today, and y'all come back now, you hear?